try something different this week. It's about, uh, believe it or not, a chocolate tea cake being launched into space. My God. Who'd have thought people have had time to do such things or thoughts on doing such things? But apparently it goes on at the Glasgow Science Centre. Get a load of this. Keep your eyes, guys, on the video that you're watching and the counter in the bottom left-hand corner. This tea cake has been covered in liquid nitrogen and is actually being launched into space on the back of a weather balloon. Now, the counter in the corner on the bottom left-hand side shows precisely the amount of metres that it's left the ground or the, the number of metres that it's off the ground from. But anyway, I don't know whether this is weird news or not, but I thought I'd pick it up and it says a chocolate tea cake attached to a weather balloon was launched high into space on Friday from Glasgow here in the UK. The tea cake was covered in liquid nitrogen to freeze it solid and help it deal with the fluctuation of temperatures up there. Now apparently, the reason being for this whole thing was to open up people's minds about science. <laughs> now get this. The scientist even named the tea cake Terry. Terry, made of marshmallow and chocolate, was raised into the atmosphere and reached a top altitude of 37,007 meters, as you'll see when you look at the counter when it actually starts to do a complete flip. The actual tea cake and gravity takes hold of it and bang, there we go. But just keep your eyes on it. This all happened a few days ago. Nearly 35,000 people watched a live stream event of this on social media. That's 35,000 people who really need to get a life. Now, bearing in mind, this video originally was two hours long. <laughs> and it's been edited down for our purposes. Speaking of getting a life, whoops! If you're all watching this video with intrigue right now, I repeat, go out and get a life! <laughs> oh my. There you are, look. You'll see Terry, the tea cake, pass over the curve of the Earth in a minute before falling back in the atmosphere. Not too far away from it now, from what I can see. <laughs> Do we all need to get jobs? Have we simply got too much time on our hands? You decide. What do you think of people who launch tea cakes into space? So is it weird? Is it mad? Or is it sensible? I don't know anymore. I'm just doing what I do. What am I talking about? Doing what I do. <laughs> I'm an actor for God's sake. Not doing what I do. As you can see, we're on our way back down to Earth now. Here we go. You can see the green through the clouds. 760, 750, 740, 730, 730. My God, it's descending quite fast, isn't it? Look at this. And apparently, we land in Galloway Forest Park. The tea cakes described as still being in one piece. See for yourself. <laughs> the Glasgow Science Centre of Zach Words. We're delighted by how many people joined us at Glasgow Science Centre and online to watch Teddy fly through space. <laughs> I bet you are, mate. God. <laughs> First, I was out dishwashing. Why? Because I've got a life. What do you want to go and launch a poxy oh, tape? You lot down here just eat them. That's right, son. That's what they're for. The poxy eat. What are you launching into space for? I mean, I know it's bonfire night, son. This is taking two extremes. It's fireworks that go into space, not pop C tea cakes. What is your chocolate tea cake into space for? Up in Scotland, we lead the way in technology, do we not, laddie? Huh? And eight, and that's what it is. You lead the poxy way of what? Let me tell you something. We invented the fish and chips, all right? What have you invented? Huh? What have I invented? You don't want to know. There's a race. Uh, a lot more than you have. I'll tell you that now. Oh, shut up, you muppet. What are you? You are too bob muppet. That's what you are. All right, a muppet. <laughs>